Hello and welcome to India Business Insights. Today we will be talking on TCS Limited's evolution as the world's major IT company. Tata Consultancy Services Limited is perhaps among the most recent to list among the top 15 companies of Nifty 50. This company existed as a division of a group holding company of the Tatas. In fact, in many ways, it has been responsible for the rejuvenation of the Tata Group in the last 25 years or so. Yes. We are talking about TCS. While Tata Group has been India's largest business group for perhaps a century or more, the Tata family is not the richest. Its main holding company, Tata Sons Limited, is owned largely by the Tata Trusts and the Shapurji Palonji family amongst others. The main holding company, Tata Sons Limited, traditionally owned very small stakes in some of the Tata companies. In fact, Tata Sons had to rope in Jardin Matheson to take up a 20% stake in Tata Industries to bring some money into its other holding company. This all changed with the growth of TCS. first as a division of tata sons and now since the last 20 years as an independent listed company tata sons holds over 72% stake in tcs the value of this stake is around 100 billion us dollars making tata sons by far the richest holding company in the country while grd tata asked fc kohli to help found tcs tcs scaled up almost accidentally when tata sons acquired a computer imported by calcutta electric supply limited The Tata Group had to give export undertakings to the Indian government to import this computer. Its first major export order also came furiously when the Shah of Iran visited India around 1970 and met JRD Tata. Tata's got an order to develop software for the newly established steel and power plants in Iran. To know this fascinating story of TCS, India's second largest company by market cap, please watch this video right to the end. If you like this video and want to watch many more such videos, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to press the notification bell. For those of you who want to know the story in depth, we will present two more videos to continue this story. Let's start with the history. Tata Consultancy Services TCS is one of the largest multinational IT service and consulting companies. It is headquartered in Mumbai, India, but has offices globally. TCS is well known in the e-governance, banking, financial services, telecommunications, education, and healthcare markets. TCS is a major player in the IT space. It currently has over 600,000 employees and a market cap of over 200 billion dollars. Tata Consultancy Services Limited, initially started as Tata Computer Systems, was founded in 1968 by a division of Tata Sons Limited. JRD Tata asked FC Kohli, the father of the Indian IT industry, to start this division. Its early contracts included punched card services to sister companies company Tesco now Tata Steel working on an interbranch reconciliation system for the Central Bank of India and providing bureau services to the Unit Trust of India TCS acquired a computer ICL 1903 in 1970 after acquiring this computer TCS started building software for common processes like financial accounting share registry work sale analysis interbank reconciliation provident fund accounting etc and operating that software on behalf of customers in 1973 tcs partnered with baros to distribute and support its products in india as well as build software that would be exported to various baros units and clients all over the world tcs completed its first full software development life cycle in 1974 when it built a financial accounting package for two building societies in the uk on behalf of baros in 1975 tcs delivered an electronic depository and trading system called Seacom for a Swiss company SIS Sega Intersetl it also developed system X for the Canadian depository system and automated the Johannesburg stock exchange 
TCS delivered an electronic depository and trading system called CECOM in 1975, developed System X for the Canadian depository system and automated the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. By 1976, it had crossed over $1 million in export revenues and won the top exporter award from the Engineering Export Promotion Council. In 1981, TCS created an end-to-end -end advanced system to manage customer relationships for Western Trust and Savings Limited, WTSL, which involved 135 person years of effort. This gave TCS an in-depth knowledge of the retail banking sector, the know-how to execute large projects, and market mastery over IBM mainframe technology. The establishment of the Tata Research Development and Design Center, TRDDC, was a paradigm shift in TCS focus on computer-aided software engineering using process automation. Also, this year saw the establishment of the Tata Research Development and Design Center, TRDDC, and it was envisioned by FC Kohli. By 1987, the IBM Mainframe Center of Excellence was set up in Chennai, then Madras, with the installation of the imported IBM 3090 mainframe, making it the largest mainframe site in India for several years, thereby opening up IBM mainframe business opportunities for For TCS, the Integrated Standard Banking System, which TCS introduced in 1988 and which automated customer service and branch banking operations, was soon embraced by several Indian banks. The first real-time domestic and international securities clearing and settlement system was created in 1989 thanks to a $10 million agreement between TCS and the Swiss Earth Securities Clearing Cooperation, that is SEGA. Prior to the Y2K issue and the launch of a single European currency, the euro, Tata Consultancy Services created the factory model for Y2K conversion and software tools that streamlined the conversion process and enabled third-party developers and client implementation. TCS Ambatur, the first facility of its sort, opened its doors in 1997. It made a substantial contribution to the Y2K bug fix by fixing 700 million lines of code using specific automated procedures developed for the Y2K conversion. Towards the end of 1999, Subhu Ayer, corporate vice president and head of transformation at TCS, decided to introduce decision support system to the domestic market. TCS was the first first Indian software services company to sign a $100 million deal with GE Medical Systems and crossed the $1 billion mark in annual revenue a year later in 2003. In 2005, TCS became the first India-based IT services company to enter the bioinformatics market and acquired Sydney-based financial network services and Chilean business process outsourcing company, Comicrom. In 2006, TCS designed an ERP system for the Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation and reorganized itself into a customer-centric agile structure. In the same year, N. Chandrasekharan, Chandra, took over as CEO and MD, succeeding S. Ramadurai, who led TCS for 13 successful years. TCS entered the small and medium enterprises market for the first time in 2011 with cloud-based offerings. In 2013, TCS was awarded a six-year contract worth over 11 billion rupees, which translates to 140 million US dollars, to provide services to the Indian Department of Posts. In 2014, crossing 10 billion dollar in revenue, TCS went on to acquire French IT services firm Altis SA, one of the top five package implementers in France, and in 2014, Mitsubishi Corporation's IT arm in Japan, followed by Saudi Arabia's first all-women BPO center in Riyadh. The cloud platform of TCS, namely Ion Assessments, Financial Inclusion (HR), Financial Accounting. TAPTM procurement and analytics crossed 100 million dollars in revenue in 2015. TCS announced a partnership with Oros Inc to deliver payment solutions for retailers using the TCS Omni Store. In 2017, TCS China was associated as a joint venture with the Chinese government. TCS developed a thought leadership framework business 4.0 TM in 2017 identifying four critical business behaviors: mass personalization, creating exponential value, leveraging ecosystems, and embracing risk. The company intended to use the four technology pillars, 
cloud, intelligence, agile and automation so that the company can grow, sustain and adapt on a large scale in a future ready manner. In May 2021, alongside consortium partner Neurotechnology, TCS was selected by the Unique Identification Authority of India, UIDAI, to provide biometric technology for the Aadhaar Digital ID program. What makes TCS tick? While TCS started as a part of the strongest name in the country and with huge advances as being a part of the Tata Group, it has also built many other advantages and strengths. Some of these areas are extensive global reach, TCS global reach, which currently extends from North America, the United Kingdom, Africa, Europe and the Asia-Pacific regions, reflects the company's efforts to obtain as much coverage as possible in diverse areas. TCS has a strong worldwide image thanks to its presence in a variety of geographical locations. Customers from a wide range of sectors. TCS supports customers in a wide range of industries including banking, finance, retail, telecommunications and media and entertainment. Exposure to different enterprises mitigate the hazards of over-dependence on a particular market or industry. Strong reputed brand image in the market. TCS has unquestionably created its own brand, image and reputation. It keeps its customers satisfied and acts as a sign of excellence. Well-established strategic alliances TCS has formed significant alliances with multinational companies all around the world. It collaborated with technology powerhouses such as Amazon, Adobe, Dell, Bosch and HP among others. Through these partnerships, TCS provides both technologically viable and creative commercial and tactical solutions. Robust service portfolio. TCS has a diverse service offering that includes application development and maintenance of business process services, BPS, IT infrastructures, business intelligence and more. A robust and diversified portfolio is drawn to various corporate clients, empowered and encouraged employees. Through effective training and learning initiatives, a highly competent workforce has been created. TCS invests heavily in employee training and development, resulting in a staff that is not just highly competent, but also driven to achieve greater success. While TCS is the epitome of success in its field, there are a few areas where TCS has a few blemishes in its operations so far. Performance of Diligenta deteriorated. Diligenta, a TCS subsidiary, has consistently performed poorly. TCS bottom line is unlikely to improve rapidly as a result of the enterprise's poor performance and hence has a negative effect. Legal squabbles. TCS filed a lawsuit against Epic System in 2014 for suspected abuse of private information. TCS was found guilty in 2016 and was charged $940 million in damages. TCS objected to and rejected the higher competence decision. Such incidents have a negative impact on the company's image. New area of opportunities for TCS. While we will explore the key growth drivers for TCS in the future in the next video, the following Following developments in the IT sector augur well for TCS. Emerging interest in cloud computing. Digital technologies and high-speed internet access have evolved. Society is shifting towards cloud-based solutions. TCS has a robust cloud-based infrastructure and is thus prepared to capitalize on the created demand. The company launched dedicated business units with end-to-end -end capabilities on each of the hyperscale platforms. Pandemic forced remote working. Post-pandemic, remote working culture has seen thumbs up and this, in fact, is helping companies to bring down their operating expenses. TCS has even launched the Secure Borderless Workspaces TM, operating model. The company implemented talent clouds, staffing projects using AI to match skills regardless of location. Greater acceptance of as-a-service platforms. The increasing popularity of cloud-based services is driving the demand for SaaS solutions. SaaS makes up the the largest share of the cloud service market and more than 50% of the overall software market. This share is only expected to increase in the future. TCS has strengthened alliances and launched new offerings around the popular and new SaaS products, thus driving stricter relationships with long-term revenue visibility. M2M Solutions Wireless and cable communications systems are both enabled by machine-to-machine -machine solutions. There are bright possibilities 
for machine to machine solutions in the future and revenues are projected to be substantial tcs offers a comprehensive variety of m to m services allowing the need for m to m solutions to be met transformation of the digital universe Because the world is becoming more digital, business forces are altering the digital economy. TCS's primary goal is to digitally transform and deliver digital solutions. TCS could expect more expenditure on technology for digital transformation. What could be the impediments to growth? Competition is fierce. IT firms such as Infosys, Wipro, Capgemini, Deloitte, Accenture and other confront each other in a fierce rivalry. As a result, the industry is experiencing price wars and has a restricted market share, a high rate of attrition. The Indian IT sector has a high rate of turnover which raises the expense of providing new workers with skills and leadership development and has a negative impact on the company's reputation. The constraints on immigration with immigration regulations, increasing H1B visa fees and changing political situations in the US, Indian IT firms are anticipated to suffer as they increase their costs and damage profitability posing a risk to the sector in the next video we will explore in detail the main growth drivers and look in detail at the current product and service offerings of the company its products and platforms thank you for watching this like share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the notification bell for the latest updates